Hello and welcome to another edition of Only in Illinois, your weekly video recap from Reboot Illinois. I'm Madeline Dubeck here with Matt Dietrich. And this week the Senate and House convened and uh, nothing of major, major significance happened. But there were a few little inklings of some movement afoot and a, a sort of a strange comment from Speaker Madigan went off his usual script about moderation and extremism a little bit. And he made the comment to reporters that he didn't presume right. that the ultimate budget was going to come from negotiation with the governor. Right, it was a... Now, the last time I took a civics class, the governor has to sign a budget into law under right. most circumstances. So explain for everybody well, what's going on here, what you think that means. What's been happening, of course, is that Speaker Madigan has been complaining that Governor Rauner uh, will not come to the bargaining table over the budget until uh, Speaker Madigan and Senate President John Cullerton get some of his reforms passed or at least call bills based on them. And Madigan says these are non-budget issues and they shouldn't be part of the budget negotiation. Uh, now, up until this week, Madigan's position has been, we're not going to do anything on these. The governor just needs to come around and come to the table and meet us halfway and be reasonable and work in moderation. That's kind of been his mantra. Uh, now he seems to be saying that, well, if the governor's not going to move, maybe we'll take this on ourselves. Now, here is what Speaker Madigan said at his press conference. Yeah, I don't necessarily agree with the first part of your remarks that uh, this, this will be in the end negotiated between the governor and the leaders. I don't necessarily agree with that. Uh, I, I think it's important to understand that the House is in continuous session. The House is here. The House is calling appropriation bills that would authorize the expenditure by the executive department to provide essential services to the people of Illinois who need those services. And the House will be in continuous session to do that. So there are conversations going on, but I don't, I don't think you should um, uh, proceed under any presumptions that are based upon what happened in the past. That uh, I, I don't necessarily presume that there will be some kind of a deal put together between the governor and legislative leaders. What does he mean by that? That's a little bit hard to say, but the only way this could happen would be for the House, all Democratic members, all 71 of them, they would have to right. come together and pass their own budget with 71 votes, which they did not do the first time around. There is a budget that they gave to Governor Rauner, which right. most of which he vetoed. And a handful of Democrats voted against it. Right, and there are two in particular who have said we're not going to vote for these things that that, you know, are not balanced. Exactly. So I'm not sure what Speaker Madigan means how he would go about this, but what would have to happen is you'd have to have all 71 Democrats vote for a budget, uh, which Governor Rauner would then veto, and you assume that if there are 71 Democrats voting for it originally, that when it comes back for an override, all 71 again would vote, and you'd have the three-fifths majority you need to override that veto. And the same thing would have to happen in the Senate, and there's less question about uh, being able to do that in the Senate. They've got a supermajority plus three over there. But this is interesting because this is the first time that Speaker Madigan has said, well, you know, it could be that maybe Governor Rauner is not going to be a factor in this. So do you think that he said that on purpose? Well, I think Speaker Madigan never says anything that's not on purpose, and uh, he never sends, says anything that's not intended to send a message, so I think he was sending a message there. Now, personally, and I wrote a blog post about this this yes. week. Yes, you I think, think that the governor ought to get involved. I think he should, and I think that one thing he's doing is he is uh, discounting the power that he has by coming to the bargaining table. It's almost as if he's saying, it's not even worth my trouble to come negotiate over the budget if I don't also get these other things like term limits, et cetera, first. I say he's got the opportunity to go in there. You've got a $4 billion difference between what the Democrats want to spend and what the state is going to earn next year. $4 billion. If you're going to meet halfway on that, if you're going to get $2 billion worth of new taxes, which the Democrats want, and you can, and, and you can enact $2 billion in cuts, 
That's pretty powerful. I think that Rauner was elected to bring some immediate sense to the budget process. And I think he's got the chance to do that now. Rather than taking us through this big standoff, which we're in now, and, and who knows when the full force of the shutdown is gonna hit. But I think that if he were to do that, he'd gain a lot of public trust. And he's gonna need a lot of public trust. That will do him a lot of good in 2016 when he's gonna start doling out money to Republican candidates. He needs to get more Republicans into the General Assembly. Which is not that far away. It's, really, it's not. And, 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 and if he can show that I have, I came in and I compromised and I got us a balanced budget for the first time in who knows how long and I got us on the right track, I think that's gonna go a long way for him in 2016. I, I think he's passing up a good opportunity here. He's got three more years. He can work on the other stuff that he wants in his turnaround agenda. And I think he's gonna have to have some more Republicans in the General Assembly before he can even think about getting that stuff passed. All right, well, that's it for this week's edition. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you on the next edition of Only in Illinois.